Hey everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim here, and Trump is a source of division and hate. This is something I keep hearing from so many different people, from different countries in America. People comment on our content, they send me messages uh, in private conversations and say, Pastor Ben, Trump is the source of hate and division in America. Because of Trump, there's so much hatred and division, even in the church. And I want to tell you, that is absolutely false. And that is absolutely incorrect. You see, the Bible says that sin is what separates us. The Bible says that sin is what separates us from God and from one another. Not a man. Of course, men and women can be used as vessels, instruments of God and even of the devil. Absolutely. We see that all throughout the Bible. However, how can one man be the source of hate and division in America today? That is absolutely incorrect. I believe God has used President Trump to expose the sin and the hatred and the bigotry and the ignorance, the idolatry, the carnality that's already in people's hearts. We see all across the RNC, the Republican National Convention, we see where there's so many evangelical pastors, preachers that have surrounded this president and prayed together. In no time in all of American history, has there been so much prayer that has gone up for a president or for a country? So we know that God is on the move. But so many people say that Trump is a source of hatred and division. The Bible says in Isaiah 59 verse 2, But your iniquities, your falsivity, your wrongdoing, your sin, your weaknesses, your iniquities have separated you from God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear Obviously, sin is a source of hate and division. Not a man, not President Trump. It is sin. And you and I need to constantly learn to repent and live a life where we turn towards God and be like Jesus. It's so funny because people say Trump is a source of hate, hatred and division. But I want to tell you here, Jesus himself says in Luke 14 verse 26, If any man came to me, and did not hate his father and mother, and does not hate his wife and children, and brothers and sisters, and does not hate your own life also. You cannot be my disciple. But wait, it gets better. Matthew 10, 37. Anyone who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy. Someone say, not worthy. So it's very clear that... It's not Trump or Biden that is a source of hatred or division. It is sin and righteousness. It's either Christ or the kingdom of darkness. Jesus says, if you are not able to hate your father or mother or your brother or your sister, then you cannot be my disciple. Now that may seem very hard and harsh, especially in a very PC tolerant culture where we think it's all about this fantasical, this fantasy idea of liberal love. And we think that if we're not in love or quote unquote in a carnal worldly unity, a sense of socialistic unity, then we're not a true disciple of Jesus. But that's the opposite and that is the contrary. Jesus says, if you're not able to hate your father, mother, brother, and sister, then you cannot follow me. Why? Because there is a line that's being drawn in the sand today. There is a clear distinction of who is a sheep, a goat, a wheat, or a tear. Are you on God's side? Or are you on the wrong side? Are you on the side of righteousness? Or are you on the side of evil and killing and murdering babies? Listen, the Bible says that there was 500 people that heard the prophetic word of Jesus Stay in Jerusalem until you receive the baptism, the promise of the Father. Stay in Jerusalem. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians, there were 500 people that were there and heard and received that prophecy. Of course, we know in the Bible, they tarried and prayed in the upper room. And 10 days later, there was only 120. Let me tell you now, it's not about being in unity with everybody. It's about being in unity with the right people, 
there is a remnant of the remnant that God is raising up. It went from 500 to a 120. There was a decrease. You might say, well, Pastor Ben, we need to be peacemakers and we should just be in peace with everybody. But if you do so, you might be part of that 500 bunch. But if you want the promises of God, you need to begin to skim and lean and cut and prune and have the 120 critical mass number. Why am I saying this? People are saying President Trump is a source of hatred and division. I want to say right now, it's your lack of hunger. It's your lack of faith. It's your own sin that causes you to have a cold love. It's that that separates us from other people. It's not President Trump. It's our own issues. As I'm closing right now, people are saying President Trump is a source of hatred and division. People of God, unity is not necessary for us to experience a great awakening. We're not meant to be united with everybody. However, we're meant to be united with the 120, with the right Gideon's company of 300. As we are part of the remnant of the remnant, it's part of that 120 club that God, boom, releases the power and we see a great awakening. Do not be afraid of losing friends, of losing people in your life. God is saying, I'm raising up the righteous and I'm raising up a company that's truly united in me. Don't worry about the rest. People are saying Trump is a source of hatred and division. That's absolutely false and it's incorrect. No man can be. One man can expose the hatred and division in your heart. But that's absolutely false. Only sin and the devil is a source of hatred and division. God's not a God of division. He's a God of love and unity. And God is saying, in these days, I'll raise up the remnant of the remnant company.